Well, hello. I have not done a day in the life in a while, so I thought I would bring you with me. Um, tomorrow, it's actually gonna be like two days in the life, a little bit from today, a little bit from tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm actually on set in Toronto shooting a commercial kind of thing uh, for a campaign that I'm working on, and it's not something I do every day, and I thought I would bring you with me so you guys can get a, like a feel for what that's like and a little behind the scenes action. Um, yeah, so what's happening? I stayed up really late last night, like 3.30, working on a deadline. Your girl's busy. It's a good problem to have. I feel very grateful. I'm a little bit tired, so I look a little bit like a hobo, but we're gonna go out. And I'm going with this man. Hey, oh, shake it. <laughs> so we're gonna go. Um, Dee needs a new pair of shoes for work. Oh. I need maybe, you got some stanky ass shoes or what? Oh, I was looking. At, I was like, I was looking at the camera, and I realized, oh, you're filming for real. I kind of knew that, but I never saw this camera before. Yeah, you have, baby. It flips the screen flips up like that. <laughs> it's been a while since we've filmed. We're oh, both tired. I this particular shoot, um, I'm bringing my own clothes. Sometimes they provide you with clothing. This one, it's more like they want me to be as myself. I was gonna go like in character, but like be me. So I'm bringing some clothes. Um, that I picked up, but I wouldn't mind a couple t-shirts. So I'm gonna go and see if I can get a few shirts and maybe that would be better. I don't know, you know like you wear a shirt and then it gets worn and then it doesn't look as nice on camera. So I'm gonna go do that. Also before I go, check this. We finally got these um, baby gates. Oh, how does this work? You twist and then you twist and then you pull. Check that out. I'm in the market for a plum jacket. Is this considered plum? Should I try the small? I have a tendency to buy big jackets. Maybe I should try the small just to see the difference. Should I try the small or do you think the big is the medium? What size is that? This is a medium. I might see oh, that's no, the, the, the medium's probably going to be what you're. Because you might wear a sweater underneath it, would you not? Right. Then we'll try it on. Just see. Don't judge my hair. I had a hat. I lost it. Why would I judge your hair? <laughs> Not you. Them. Oh. Well, you guys don't judge people's hair. Yeah. Just don't judge you people don't, in general. You don't know people's day. You don't know that I went to bed at 3.30 in the morning. Judging people. That'll work for you. <laughs> hey, hey. You're not like me. No, I think this is too tight. Yeah, it, oh yeah, you can tell yeah, it's no. too tight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do I pull the trigger on this is what I'm wondering. Pull the trigger on I it. I love those high necks. I have a thing about necks. Right? Imagine black boots, black felt hat. I think I gotta do it. <laughs> well, much later in the day now, I'm home, and I did end up buying the jacket. So, this is from the bay. And I'm telling you, I score. I, I always find beautiful things at the Bay. They carry lots of different brands, Hudson's Bay Company. This is a Carl Lagerfeld jacket. I must admit, from what I can see on the camera, it's showing up more burgundy. In real life, it's definitely more of a plum, uh, more purple than red, but I just love it. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I went with a medium. Big fan. In terms of what I'm going to bring, so in the end I did end up going out and buying a few new things. I don't mind, I could use a few new pieces for the season, um, but also, I don't know, I don't wanna wear my ratty old clothes. So okay, I picked up some new runners. These are very like, kinda dad shoes. This definitely has like a dad shoe vibe. It's just H&M, so it wasn't crazy price, I don't think anyway. Um, those. I got this today from Old Navy. I quite enjoy this little, you know, layered color, color block sweater. Love it. I got this from Old Navy today, t-shirt. Of course, these are things I'm going to wear in my real life, um, but I just thought they might also look nice on camera. So the colors that they're going for, this is for uh, something I'm doing with Team Bread, is more of like this beige vibe, hence maybe that would work. This shirt in the end ended up being too big along with these pants. So I'm actually going to 
be returning those items. Picked up just a casual white shirt, which is actually inside out right there. Um, we've got these cutoffs, which you can see look like they'll go nicely with those shoes. And then these are like a, you know, green kind of jogger, super wrinkly at the moment. Um, but of course the whole point is to look that they were going for for me was like Sunday brunch mom, you know? So that's kind of the vibe I got going on here. I also have to find some jeans in here somewhere. I was thinking about these lighter ones. I think those might be the best. Um, yeah. And then like the person on set can decide what I'm gonna wear. I also got a last minute request to bring some black booties, like little Chelsea boots. And they wanted red pants, but I don't own red pants. So um, they're gonna try and source some for me. And so I'll bring this and yeah, we'll go from there. So I have my lines. Where did I put them? Ah, I've got my lines here. Thankfully, they're just one liners. So it should be pretty easy uh, to remember. And when you're shooting them, they tend to do it like in sections. So I'll know the line I'm doing for that section and then just say it a few different ways. I have learned uh, from experience that when I over memorize, it gets stuck in my brain and then you add nerves to the equation and you sort of get stuck saying the lines a certain way, which for what I'm doing can be a little frustrating because if the director's like, no, place the emphasis on this word instead and this is kind of the how we wanna hit home with it, you might be stuck in this loop of how you've been practicing. So I try to just become very familiar with the words, say them over in my mouth a few times, say them a few different ways, um, play with my expressions. And when I practice, I try to go over the top. So like, I don't explain it because when you're nervous, you think you're going overboard, but you're not. You're actually like really holding it in. So, oh my God, my room is just a mess. I'm like seeing what you're seeing here. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so that's like a little trick I do is like try to like over express and you're better to go over so that you can pull back a bit. It's kind of, it, it's a really crappy um, feeling that you get when the director's like, can you emote more? Can you give me more? You're just like, oh, I'll try my best. So anyway, I'm gonna pack it up in my little travel on suitcase, which to be honest, I haven't even unpacked for my last shoot. Who am I with all these shoots? It's pretty exciting. Um, anyways, okay, so I'm gonna do that. And the nice thing is there's going to be hair and makeup on set. So I'm just, like, the reason that my hair looks so disgusting God, I hate, I hate this feeling of having gross hair uh, is because I didn't want to shower and wash it yesterday knowing that I would shower and wash it today um, to go be in on set tomorrow. So I'm going to blow dry it out and then they touch it up when I get there and it takes the pressure off. Although I have to leave the house at like 6.15 tomorrow. So I want to get all of this sorted out tonight so I'm ready to rock. Dean has whipped up a blue cheese sauce. We're having some steak, mashed potatoes, and we were at Costco today, so I am going to put together this uh, Caesar salad. I'm actually gonna make it in here. That way I can shake it, shake it, shake it, and then I'll transfer it uh, to the bowl. say this so dad is over tonight because he's going to be taking the kids to school tomorrow and I actually have the kids in skating tomorrow night so I don't know how that's gonna work out shoot I'm tempted maybe they'll just skip the first one because yeah anyway I'm not sure about that I'll think about that in a minute but for now I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen just this little area to give Dean a little hand because he's been cooking all the dinner while I got ready so well, it's 11 o'clock, which is actually pretty early for me considering last night I went to bed at 3.30 in the morning. I didn't get everything I wanted to get done today and that is the story of my life. I almost just need to like reset my expectations because I did do a lot. Just. In fact, I actually feel like I'm forgetting to do something. And I think it's because tomorrow is Wednesday and for the last 31 weeks, I've had a podcast go out on Wednesdays. So I feel weird. I'm taking a little break to regroup before season four. So I'll be back on the podcast, but I'm taking a tiny break. Anyways, lunches are made, coffee pot is set, bag is packed. You can see it there. <laughs> Outfit is ready to rock. 
I'm keeping it very simple. I'm wearing uh, leggings and a t-shirt and a little sweater because I just it's hard to know what the temperature will be like on set because last week I was dying of heat. In fact, I was so hot I like broke out in a heat rash, so that was new. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to decompress and uh, I'll be up at five. Well, that's weird. I think I'm gonna get up at 540. And I have to say that like, based on you are watching this video, it may all look very simple and like, oh, I just pulled it together, no problem. It's like, thank God for my dad being able to come out here, take the kids to school, get them all sorted. And in fact, I'm feeling a tang of mom guilt because tomorrow night the kids start their first um, after school activity. They're doing a skating program, like a learn to skate. And I'm not here and that blows, but grandpa's gonna take them. He also has to get their skates sharpened and get them new helmets because their heads grew. Oh, it's just like, there's always stuff, you know? Freshened up. Makeup room happening. Hi, Emma. Hi. We're getting all touched up after lunch. This is a little room where we're keeping our things. And this is my outfit today. We've got the shirt, pants, and they hooked me up with some shoes. And that's a wrap. So I just finished up on set. I am so tired, oh my God. When this thing goes live, I can't say too much about it right now, but when it goes live, I will share it with you. You'll probably see it anyway, but definitely I'll let you know. Um, it's just really cool to have these kinds of opportunities. Like I know I said it before, and I said it on Instagram. I was just like, if you would have told the girl who was sitting in Malaysia, oh, got dirt all over me but if you would have told the girl who was sitting in Malaysia making videos about being a new mom trying to figure life out didn't know what the hell I was doing that she would be doing this like it's just it's mind-boggling and it's so fun and I had a, I just had such a fun day and it's amazing too, like the confidence that you find in yourself when you realize you can do so many different things like it's very exciting anyways I'm starving so I'm gonna go have dinner I'm gonna head home and then I'm gonna edit this video for you guys so I hope you enjoyed this vlog I hope I had enough footage I don't know I'm like it's been a hot minute since I have vlogged and I've kind of forgotten okay guys subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video bye